in order to get your pinion out, we're simply going to smack right on the head here. But you make sure to use a plastic face hammer. Don't use brass, don't use metal, unless you're not reusing your pinion. Then you don't care if this mushroom's out. The other thing is you have to reach down below and you have to hang on to your pinion so it doesn't fall on the ground. And so we'll simply and we'll pull the pinion out. And there's the pinion. And here is the collapsible spacer that's used for pinion preload. To get the seals out, there's several ways. We could use a screwdriver like so. We could use a seal puller. In this case, we're going to turn it over and we're going to knock it out the other way. I don't want to damage it any more than it is. It's already pretty damaged. So we'll flip this over. And we're actually going to use the hammer handle down inside there. We're going to smack right on top here. There's my seal. There's my bearing. A lot of times there's a big washer. This washer is called an oil slinger. And of course, if you're going to reuse the bearings, you don't want them hitting the floor because you don't want to take a chance of damaging the cage or damaging the rest of the bearing. The next step would be to remove your bearing races. Now, when we look down at the front bearing race right in here, you can see its seat right here and there's a cutout right there. That's designed for a punch so that we can knock out the bearing race. And there's one on each side here. Now, a standard drift punch will work. However, I have a specialty punch which is designed for bearing races. And it looks like that on the end. And again, you want someone's hand down here to catch this when we knock it out. What we will do though, is you alternate from both sides. That process would then be repeated for the inner race. On the installation, you must make sure this surface where the race seats is very smooth, no dirt, no bumps from when you removed it, otherwise the race won't sit square. So it's very important that this is clean and inspected. All bearing races are interference fits, which means that you have to tap them in. We're going to do the same thing with the new race, making sure it's clean for the installation. Now bearing races need to be carefully installed. You don't want to nick anywhere in the bearing area or you damage it. So you need to tap on the outer edge. Now they make bearing installation tools. This is a bearing installation cone right here. Now if you have the right size, it fits in there perfectly. Now this one does not. Now the very next size up that I have is actually too large. So this universal tool doesn't actually fit properly. However, flipping it over the other way does seem to fit pretty well there. The other factor will be whether it drops down into the housing all the way. Now, if it'll drop down inside there, then the outer diameter is not too big and it may put the race in there just fine. Now this universal tool comes with a hand driver and so we need to install it like so. Once we're sure everything's nice and clean, carefully set our race down inside here. And we'll tap it down. You hear how solid that sounds? It usually means it's seated. We'll flip it over and we'll check it from the back side to make sure it is seated.
So we're looking for a gap right in here. And if there's no gap, then it's seated properly.